we're heading out of the lodge. This is the lodge. Look at my hair. <laughs> Don't look at my hair, guys. Welcome back to Jack Travels. Today, our journey takes us further into the Amazon jungle and deeper into the way of life of the indigenous Tikuna tribe. First, we will visit a local farmer's market in the town of Porto Nariño. Then, we will head straight to a monkey sanctuary. And lastly, we will immerse ourselves in the traditions and customs of the indigenous Tikuna tribe. So without further ado, let's go! I really hope the camera and the microphone picks up the noise because you can hear everything. All the noise of insects, the birds chirping, and it's only like 6 a.m. And the jungle is already coming alive. That's amazing, guys. So in the morning, it does get a little chilly. The temperature now is like 71 degrees. During the midday peak time, it's like 105. Look at my clothes. You can hear the sound of my cars. How you park <laughs> in the Amazon. <laughs> People a right to recollect these products for selling the products here. People going out to fish. <laughs> but I can't say, man. Buenos días, buenos días. Buenos días. And that is the central market. Yeah. See, everybody is arriving. <clears throat> Local farms. What is that? This is farinha. farinha. This is the crunchy balls we make it with manioc, with the toxic manioc. Oh. See, and you can, it's like an um, Parmesan cheese. Okay. It's like, um, you can eat it with, with everything, with the okay. soup. It's really nice. The pepper. Oh, this pepper. It's fish eye. They call it terapita. Pepper. The wild meat. And this is that catfish. Oh, it's black catfish. This is the, prefer, uh, this is the favorite of the, of the caimans, for example. Look, pintadillo, the another catfish. Remember, we, we ate it in yeah. the lunch. Hola, buenos días. Eh, regálanos, por favor, buñuelo. Hombre, tengo 500 y de mil. Regálanos dos de 500, por favor. Dos de 500 y quiten servilletas, mi amor. Is this like flour? Si, sí. oh. corn flour. Oh, yeah. Normally, we only eat in Christmas. But it's so delicious that we want to eat it all day here. Yeah. Oh, buñuelo, man. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, no corazón. Gracias. I am trying these, like, um, fried dough. It's like fried dough here. Ah! <gasps> so hot. So hot, but it's so good. It's basically a fried dough. A little bit sweet. It has a smell to it. And he used um, coconut oil to fry this. So it has like a coconut, Swedish kind of taste as well. So good. And there's a dog right here. You can see this is like the central market. There's seats for people to sit down and eat. There's some fried dough, selling fish, vegetables, everything here. Tea, coffee. Yeah. This is the place, guys. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so we are here at this restaurant called Crepe. I'm just getting eggs for today. I've had so much fish in the past couple days, I might turn into a fish. So something really cool about this restaurant right here behind me is that it's owned by a French guy. So French guy, he came as a tourist and he fell in love with this woman from Puerto Nariño. They had a baby together, he lived here, but then his visa was out, so he had to um, move somewhere else. So he and his wife had built this place and they had rented it in Puerto Nariño and now his wife, his daughter, and him live in France. So what fish is this? Tucunare. Tucunare, oh my god. And this is Acaraguazú. This is black mojarra. How does the soup taste? Um, no, this is, this is it's salty. Okay. But you no, know, this is different taste it's because it's different meat. And this is farinha. Oh yeah, the thing we saw. Uh-huh. You see, it's, it's a crunchy bowl and you use it like this. You put in farinha. Patacón with rice. Yes, We are here now in Mokagua, which is the animal sanctuary, and we're gonna start exploring, start learning about the animals here and how they're being protected. Uh, different kind of monkeys we can find. This is the howler monkey we have. The howler, howler the, howler the red howler. one with the big throat. Yes, this is the same. Mm. This is the woolly monkey. Mm. Our is that biggest. The one that we saw? See, exactly, oh. in the reserve. This is our biggest monkey. They walk in long 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 distance squirrel, squirrel monkey, monkey you you see that yeah, this is a pygmy marmoset it's like this size oh wow tail is like this oh, wow. see see but this is really small one my kuchiga uh, uh, foundations they start to change the view so they use it that counters yeah now they are guys they oh. they show to the people how to take care of the animals So when the, when the, when the police uh, recover the monkeys from hunters or, or recover from some predators, they bring to this place. Oh. Capuchins, howler, the woolly monkey, and a spider monkey. Yes, Thai. It's like an exercise for the patients. Sí, como bien, pero fuerte. Hizo ¡pum! Cuando vemos que había un tranco que estaba así como pasa, o sea, ¿Pero? y las manos como se hacen. ¡Oh, este es ¡Wow! He's posing for you. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> ¡El lucho! Yeah, guys, so we just saw our monkeys. This is a um, conservation built and founded by Sarah Bennett. She's from the United States and she came here to this community, Mokagua, she fell in love and collaborated with the Tikuna tribe to build this foundation, to build uh, the building here back. My hair is crazy. To build the building back here where they rehabilitate and also protect all different types of primates. So if you guys can see, they built like a whole playground here where monkeys can climb around and like play. Look, all these wood up here. Pancho, ay ay leche de soya. Okay, soy milk. Miel, eh, eh, complejo B, vitamina C. B complex y and avena and uh, C vitamin. Y avena and and oats. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that was the animal sanctuary, the monkey sanctuary that we saw. It was great. And now we are going to head back to the indigenous community of San Martin. Mm -hmm. 
dos idiomas, que es el español y el uh -huh. ticuna. Nuestro uh -huh. dialecto. Speak two languages. Y de habitantes tenemos 658. Yeah, 658 people. Más grande. The houses are built out of wood with um, some metal, rustic metal on top. They have electricity as well, but it might run for certain hours of the day. No doggies. <laughs> See people hang their shirts up here. We're doing that one. So we're using two banana leaves. And then the thing we're tying it was is with this in the middle. And the onions. And leaves on top. Yeah, inside. And then, uh, and then we're gonna fold the bottom. It smells so good here, guys. So you take the mini bananas over there, guys, what I showed you, and then you put it here, like what she's doing. Get the banana. Yeah. Wrap it with the plastic bag. Take a hamper and mush it down like that. <laughs> and then, yeah, she's here. And eat the squares. Uh, frito. Frito? Okay. Frito. So afterwards, after you mush it like this, you're gonna go fry it. Oh, she's using without any gloves, guys. I'll be so scared. People here, it's they don't have an oven, so what they use is wood. They use a lot of wood, then and they just light it up with this metal grill. Then they put the fish wrapped in banana leaves up here, and then tie it up with the banana branches. And then there you get it. The smoke just comes and just leaves the house. It's interesting because the house is built separately from the kitchen. And this is primarily why, because the smoke from the kitchen kind of just like disperses everywhere. So the house is right here, and the kitchen is right here. Look at this. Wow. These are not like, these are not the bananas that we have in the US. The smaller bananas, like this, is more sweeter than the big um, bananas that we have at home. These one, they're called like fruit bananas. They have them in Thailand too, and it's really good. ¿Qué frutas hay? Sí, tengo ahí el arasá que se están cayendo. So the arasá. Este es borojola que tiene las borojola. pepas verdes. Sí. Es muy, uh, muy ácida, muy ah, ácida. Para jugo. Sol, sí, solamente es para jugo. Ah. Eh, tengo el copo azul, que es la matiga que está ahí. So the fish is cooking, the chicken and rice is cooking, and the patacón is cooking. So now let's walk. So this is the backyard. We have a rooster, <laughs> and also we have. Look at these coconuts, guys. Look, look at these coconuts. It's interesting, some coconuts I've seen, um, they're like brown. I think there are different types of coconuts. I'm not a coconut expert, but they're brown. But this coconut is like orangey yellow. Even the stem is orangey yellow. I wonder like what it tastes like or it needs time to um, ripen up. But that noise over there, it was a bird. It's, um, it's called blue something. That, 
that noise? Do you hear that? It was like duh, 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 duh. that is from this bird that is black and it has a yellow tail. Not do not see see a key. Wow, she says she lived here for 44 years now. Y su madre y padre está de Amazona? Oh, she said her parents live in another community on the other side of the, um, the region. ¿Y tú fuiste a otras partes de Colombia o solamente aquí? Yo ahorita en febrero estuve en Cali. Cali. Oh. Cali. Oh, okay. She said she's gonna visit um Cali. Cali is another town, another city southwest of Medellin. She's gonna go there. It's gonna be like a f a food show or some sort of like um, place where she can try or sell food, and she's gonna go there. Wow. ¿Qué es la like típico comida de de Ticuna de Colombia? El de Ticuna más que sí. todo es el pescado, el pescado. hoja. Pescado, uh, la brasa, sí. ahumado. She's like the typical food of the Amazon and the Ticuna tribe is um, fish. <clears throat> fish with banana leaves and grilled. Um, there's some fish that you can cook and stir fry and also steam. So chicken. En patacón y en fish. Mm -hmm. rice, rice with chicken. Right here. So what would they use this for, just to hunt? For hunted, hunted, oh. everything. Monkeys, deer, dantas, capybaras. Ah, so it's like a una. wooden weapon here. Tiene que tener... Right here, not everything. Right there. 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 Yeah, you need to, to, you do you need to make a hole, so... Ah! Oh! Look at this! Wow! <laughs> Tikuna. All right. Guys, so after we went to shoot some darts, we are going to make some bracelets. In my casa, my name is Nidia. Se llama la chambira, la fibra se llama chambira. El natural es el color blanco. Es de un de una palma donde que nosotros le sacamos el cogollo. Y estas pinturas son pinturas naturales, lo que ves es Esta es, no es natural, es artificial, igualmente esta, pero las rojas y el chocolate son de unas plantas que nosotros lo sacamos las hojas para machucarla y se le coloca cinco minutos para que quede ese color. Práctica, mujer. Yeah. That, that thing is really difficult. Yeah. It's not really easy, <laughs> Oh, I see. You got it. How long does like it take to make one? <laughs> Less than five minutes. Oh man. Takes a lot of patience. And, and green one? Nice man, you make mm, it. Nice. This is your first craft? Yeah. Es su primera artesanía. 
Ah, y él ha viajado por 41 países. So this is our, our, our natural beer here. Enjoy, Masato. <laughs> Wow. La actividad que todos los días nosotros realizamos acá se llama la minga. La minga es una actividad que donde que nosotros o el dueño de la actividad hace una cantidad de, de bebida que se llama el masato hecho por la yuca. Entonces él puede hacer, el dueño de la, de la actividad puede hacer dos o tres timbos de masato. Uh, yeah. Very sour. Perfect. That was good. It was a little sour, but it was good. It smells really good. Gracias.